So today we are going to do some writing. So before we do that writing, I want to tell you exactly what we will be writing about. We will be writing about what we call a personal recount. So it's something that happened to you, all right? Now, when we talk about ourselves, we will have words like I, me, and we, because you'll be having, maybe you're talking about yourself and your friends. No other words. You can say I do this, me, or we, okay? Remember, if we're writing a personal recount, we're talking about something that has already happened, so we write in past tense. Let us just practice past tense for a little bit. If I say I walk to town, if it's past tense, I will say I walked to town. Okay, so we write in past tense. Now, boys and girls, if we're going to recount something, we don't want it all jumbled up and not making sense. We must tell the story in the order that it happened. For instance, this happened first, then it happened second, then this is what happened next, and last. You don't want to start with something that happened last and put it in the beginning, do you? It must follow a good order. Now, what I will do... You remember the story that we did of Sonto? Now I'm going to read you Sonto's personal recount. It will be like now Sonto is talking about herself. Okay. Last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. I was so excited to play in the sand and to swim in the cold ocean water. I was curious to see if I could swim better than the last time I was at the beach. I ran straight into the salt water. I felt very brave, so I kept going deeper and deeper into the sea. Suddenly, I heard the lifeguard blow her whistle. Then, I heard a loud siren and I knew something was wrong. I looked up and noticed a helicopter flying just above us. People were rushing out of the water. I quickly followed everyone onto the beach. My mother ran towards me and told me that there was a shark in the ocean. I looked at this ocean and saw the shark's gray fin. I felt happy that I was not shark prey. Other people felt afraid, but I felt safe because, the lifeguard, because of the lifeguard and the helicopter. I am excited to go back to the beach and swim in the beautiful ocean. But next time, I hope that there are no dangerous fish in the sea. I must always remember to listen carefully for whistles and sirens. Now that is Santos personal recount. Did you hear her? She used lots of eyes. Ne? Me. Okay? So you remember that. Now what I want you to do, boys and girls, I want you to open your books and I want you to take down these notes. These are the things you need to remember to do when you are writing your own personal recount. Now, on the page, you are going to write for me the personal recount. I want you to write these notes. Number one, you write about what happened to me. Number two, use I, me, and we. Number three, you use past tense. Number four, you tell the story in the correct order. These are the things you need to remember when you are doing a personal or writing a personal recount. Take it down for me, please.